All right, folks, let's get back to work. Um, let's. There's one big thing to understand. See, I'm the 13th, 22nd Redeemer. That's a uh, rabbinic understanding. You know, the, the what that means is, you know, the true spirit of Jesus, uh, an unbroken line of the of the people that are are like Jesus since the time Jesus was murdered and turned into mythology by the apostates. I was, I'm the 13th, 22nd Redeemer. And the, the, you know, the line goes, ooh, lolly, ooh, lolly, golly, what a day. That's what, that's what it means. Okay. So I am the 13th, the 22nd Redeemer. The true spirit of Jesus, the unbroken line of the spirit of Jesus that, uh, you know, redeems the teachings of the uh, apostles, uh, the apostles and the uh, prophets, the apostles and the Messiah. And delivers us from evil by giving us, you know, the light on true religion, truthfully, eternally. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's me. Okay, so the, I'm not doing a damn thing wrong. I'm not doing this wrong. I'm not teaching wrong. I'm not attempting wrong. There's not a damn thing I'm doing wrong. Okay, they're doing wrong. Okay. The people that use technology and money to mass murder. The people that believe it, the hypocrites and heathens are wrong. Not the 13th and 22nd Redeemer me. Okay, I am perfect. I am correct. I am like Job and Jonah and Jesus. Muhammad, uh, Hood, Elijah, and, and, you know, Joseph Smith wasn't doing anything wrong. When they have those shows about him, he was a zealous. He would go from town to town trying to get people to live the ways of Solomon and David. And then people would come and fuck it up. How is that any different than what I'm doing in Las Cruces, uh, faithless, let's fuck everybody in there and murder them in New Mexico? Huh? Okay. <laughs> you're not supposed to talk this way. Yes, I am. All right. Because your shit is fucked up. Your vulgar, your intercourse is vulgar. You are disgusting piles of shit. I have a whip. I'm going through Solomon's temple. I am beating the living shit out of you. You know, Jesus told me that many times at Thomas Barrymore, beat the hell out of them. Hey, that works. <laughs> beat the hell out of them. Okay, I will beat the hell out of them, Jesus. You said beat the hell out of them. I will beat the hell out of them. Okay, whatever works, you know. And what I'm doing is correct. You know, even if they're playing games, he thinks he's doing this, but he's you know, only talk to me, game to talk people. And hey, move I should not be being maneuvered around. Followed by assholes with satellites and cameras thinking they're playing games of life and they're playing the game of life better than I'm playing the game of life. Okay. Two and two is four. Something's right, you do it. Okay, We're not doing it. Then they're, it's their problem, not mine. Like every time I clean and I sit there and think, well, what if the water's got like Camp Lejeune stuff? In it? And Suzuki always tells me, that's not your issue, Parsons. You're the way, the truth, and the life, not the murder game and death. And you're, oh, okay, you're not a Martian. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it, you know. Eventually, this technology will get as good as you and nothing like that. Well, I could have as good of a reflection as you. Okay. Technology can't be as good as me. Okay. Because you can't, human beings can't create better than their own life given to them by the glory of God. They can clone it and say, I made that. You didn't make that. You just cloned it. Okay. Manipulating matter that was already given life by something greater than you is not making is I created life. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shut up. Okay, just go, go, go masturbate in the corner and go fuck yourself. God, you're such an idiot. Okay. I mean, sorry, possessive pronoun. I'm using the word wrong. I'm sorry. I have brain damage connecting to a complete fucking murdering asshole. You see what I'm saying? If you see what I'm saying, you're, you're getting more intelligent. And you're like, wow, this it's, it's the time. This is the time and the place. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you think he's an incoherent jerk and Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Okay, Your God sucks. 2,024 years of torture because he's entertaining himself in the fucking clouds. Okay, I don't believe that your Jesus is God and you shouldn't believe your Jesus is God because your Jesus is a cowardly, selfish manipulator. He gives us free will to fuck each other and get off on it. He's masturbating to it. Jesus does not work for DARPA or Homeland Security. Jesus isn't a NASA fucking pencil uh, uh, protector horned rim geek. They're not all pencil protector horned rim geeks. No. Some people that are smart are very, oh, they're very fuckable. Look as hot as David Underhill having sex with Penny. 
and then have pictures of his wife on his phone naked too. <laughs> you got naked pictures of your wife? No, want to see some? You know, like they used to do to me in Sierra Vista with my poor Amy. You know, naked wife, pictures of your wife, want to see some? Shut up. Fuck you. Shut up, Yorgiev. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I respect wedding vows. And I respect other people's wedding vows as much as I respect my own. Okay. That's how I'm able to be the example of how to try to stay married in hell. <laughs> and the rest of you, hey, we're bumping uglies for money. Want to come fuck with us? Hey, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. Yeah, right. It's the brothel queens. Some of them have penises. All right. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm the example of how to stay married in the 20th, uh, 20th, uh, 20th and 21st century. Not you. You're still bumping uglies for money. You won't stand up to live the Lord's Prayer so we can go back to pro uh, Psalms and Proverbs to begin. No, you, you're a fucking coward. You're a selfish fuck machine for money. You always need money. Jesus needs more money. You're like George Carlin's fucking joke. You know, all magnificent, all powerful, all full of money. Because he said, forgive debt and trespass and love one another to their faithful teeth. Don't believe them. They can't even follow the instructions of their own God. <laughs> so, you know. That's why I'm the 13th, 22nd Redeemer. Okay. When I was a little kid, I didn't believe all that bullshit. I told Dad, I said, everything that was totally unbelievable, it was like watching cartoons on TV. It's like, that ain't really the cat, you know, when the cat sits there and the and the, and the bird runs through the pipe and the other cat gets the gun and, <laughs> and blows the tail out the other cat and the other cat's still alive and the bird's alive. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> this is a cartoon. Okay. So... They change the stories to cartoons to entertain people to sell them bullshit. Okay. How you guys, you guys understand the book of Jonah now? Did you flip it and reverse it? Is it time to uh, live the Lord's Prayer and return to Psalms and Proverbs yet? It doesn't matter. I'm working on it and I'll fix the, I'm fixing the technology as we speak right now. All right. And when it, and when it activates worldwide and everybody knows who the FIB and your um, position and what you did to abuse me and try to murder me with stress and toxic environments and manipulation. And he's going to go crazy. He's going to go mad. He's going to lose it. He's going to end up, because their technology said, he's going to end up with all the people doing the stuff they're addicted to. He's probably going to end up killing us all. No, you're going to commit suicide with technology and I'm going to help. <laughs> well... Well, Goliath, you can't come rape everybody you want and cut off all the nuts off your sexual competition. Those days are gone. Say bye-bye, Goliath. Some of them are women. Some of them are homosexuals. Some of them have poppic predictors. Some of them are very David Underhill and Penny. Some of them are enemies. Some of them are friends. No, you, you love your enemy, okay? You don't have any friends if everybody's bumping uglies for money. You have a bunch of fellow inmates that will bump uglies for money. Okay, none will stand up with the Messiah and say, hey, this is the Messiah. We should all be living the truth. He's redeemed it. Let's go. Life is eternal. Grace is infinite. That's the Messiah. He's redeemed the truth. There you go. All you philosophers, what's the truth? I just told you to shut the fuck up. I don't want to read your book. I don't want to buy your book. I don't want to talk about your book. Go Houston Smith yourself. <laughs> you have a problem, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Damn propaganda again, right? Okay, so I'm not doing a damn thing wrong. Okay, they are. And if you're acting like them, then you are. Okay. I'm not doing a damn thing wrong. They are. And if you're acting like them, then you are. Okay. Money ain't real. Why the fuck are you fighting over it to fuck? Fuck, because you fuck, you fuck, you fuck, that's all you fuck, you suck, you fuck, you fuck, you shit fuck up, you fuck, you sick fuck shit, fuck shit. shit I'm having a Nicki Minaj shit. Fuck you shit, fuck shit, fake chick shit, fake fuck, bees in trap, fuck shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck up, shit, fuck up, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an action figure, I'm a doll. <laughs> By my doll, I need more money, shit, fuck, shit, me shit, fucked up. Me bees in trap, shit, fuck up. <laughs> I'm a crazy rich Asian, shut the fuck up. Everything, everyone, at once, everywhere. I'm, living, I'm fucking uh, Tony Curtis's and, and Janet Lee's daughter. Leave me alone, let me shit fucking crazy. <laughs> I need to cut me a word, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Save us, Robin Williams. He's working on it. He's helping. <laughs> Thank you, Robin, you're the best. Okay. I love Robin Williams. I've had a lot of prior communications with Robin Williams. Because he cares. And he wants people to live truthful lives and not be fucked by a bunch of assholes. He used to entertain the troops. They said it was fun killing people for a paycheck. It used to 
bother him. Yeah, it bothered me too. That's why I dropped the fuck out. All right, guys, I love you. And worked on my own with people in my head. In my head. Beautiful people there. Oh, yeah, Ark of Covenant.